So now that we've made our uh, design screen for our Count to Something app, we can see it here, created and unenabled. The uh, graphic here isn't showing, but we can see our minus sign. We can see our checks box, check box for enabled and our tally. We're gonna come over to our blocks. And again, button one is our addition button. So I should probably come over here and rename this as add and this as uh, subtract just so I know which button I'm dealing with here. So I'm going to come over to my control and uh, actually I'm going to go back to my add button here. And what I want to have happen is I want to enable this. So I'm going to come to my if statement and I want to say is I only want my calculator to work if checkbox one is checked. If it's checked, then I want to run this. Well, what do I want to run? I want to take my label count. So I want to take my label itself, that count, and I want to take the text of it, and I want to take that text, and I want to add one to it. So I'm going to take that label text, And again, I want the text of it, and I want to add one to it. Now, this allows me to, every time I click on that button, we're going to see on my emulator, if this is checked, I'm going to click there, and we're going to add one to it. Now, what I should have done here is this should be the count, not label one. That's why I got my error. So I'm going to come back here, enable, and we can see my tally here goes up by one. Well, I can duplicate this and change this to my subtract one. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come to my math blocks. I'm going to grab my subtraction block, and I'm going to run that uh, same count on that label. So now when I run this on my emulator, if that is enabled, if I click uh, down or my subtract, it takes away. If I click my positive, it goes up. If the enable button is not checked, then uh, it doesn't work. Now, we don't have a way, if we take a look back to our design screen, to reset this calculator. So I'm just going to do, use some uh, the accelerometer, which we've used in the past. And I could simply then use that accelerometer, and when that is shaken, well, what do I want to do? I want to duplicate, and I want to set my text to zero. So that means when I shake it, I could clear my calculator out. Now, this is one way to set up a count something app. Now, the disadvantage to this way is we really have nothing to store. Uh, so that becomes a um, disadvantage if you want to use that number for other things. So my suggestion is I'll do another variable on how to do this app using a variable. Uh, and I'll also do another video to show how we can use sound uh, in this program as well.